Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. Can you find Gus in this video? <laughs> he was sleeping. As soon as I turn on the camera, he goes, Hello! Hi, Gussie! When I'm in the living room, instead of keeping him in his cage, I just put him on his perch there. And he's content. He finally clipped his wings. Well, that part I didn't do. He actually chewed those wings off. I clipped them because he was flying around the house. And I had him... I, he didn't have his wings clipped for about... Oh, I don't know, three years? And then one day he flew away because somebody came into my house and tried to steal him. And he flew away and he flew and flew and flew and flew throughout the night. And it was very windy that night so he stayed up in the air and he ended up all the way to Burien. And I live in West Seattle so if you guys are from Seattle, Washington, you know where that's at. And he ended up at the Five Corners Veterinarian Clinic and the next day... Uh, or that same night I ended up getting him, but the next day it snowed, so if he didn't end up there, he would have been dead. But after that, I was like, you know what? He's got his wings trimmed. I'm going to trim his wings enough that he can fly still across the room and land. And all my pets get along. My cats get along um, with the dogs. You've seen them in the videos where they all play with each other. The cats, the dogs, other birds. He loves other birds. But a lot of people don't believe in clipping their birds' wings, but if you don't clip them... You're going to lose your bird. So whatever on some of those um, opinions about not clipping bird wings. Um, I want to keep my bird forever and healthy. Plus I don't want him flying into the walls or, you know, the windows if the lines are left up. But he wouldn't just fly into a wall. It's just that when he's sitting on this perch, if he was sleeping, and let's say someone came around the corner, you know, let's just say right from here on the corner, and he didn't know who the person was, he would flip out and take off flying probably. He's done it before. And he actually has crashed into the window onto the blinds and then he snapped the blinds with his beak, of course. So this way, if that does happen, he can jump down and then just fly down right onto the floor. So I don't know, but he's not talking because he's listening to me. Gussie. I guess. It's funny, whenever I talk to him, he does that. Hello. Hello. Say something cute. Um, don't poop. You pooped right on camera, naughty boy. Show me your foot. No, not that way. Gussie. Say hi. Let me see your foot. Let me see your foot. Say hi. Gus, let me see your foot. Let me see. Say hi. Give me a foot. Give me a foot. Give me a foot. Give me a foot. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your foot. <laughs> He's like, no. I'd have to get closer to him for him to wave. There you go, you're getting some energy, huh? Were you seeping? You were seeping? Gussie Bale. Oh, now you're showing your foot. <laughs> so cute. Alright, guess we're done. So, if you guys got any questions about Gus, I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment down below and I'll try to do my best to answer. <laughs>